up guys welcome back to the channel uh thanks for joining brock go fast uh today is the day that a lot of people have been asking for we are going to put gt350 rear seats in the r um kind of nervous because i don't like taking out plastics and it can get a little tricky hope i don't break anything but today we're going to try it uh if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button i'm gonna have a little thing here to remind you boom put it down there below and if you got any uh, comments on what else you want to see, let me know. Uh, but we're going to get into this uh, rear seat install so my little man can go with me and uh, we'll get started. I was lucky enough to search the forums, ask for the forums. I tried to get a GT350R rear seat kit. Had someone actually message me, said, yes, uh, I have one. And I got really excited. I even couldn't sleep that night. We messaged back and forth and it came to it. He wanted to hold on to them because they were brand new and he doesn't drive his R and wanted them to go with it down the road. I tried everything, tried to let him know like, hey, let an enthusiast use them. Don't just let them sit in a box so you can sell them. He said about 3,500 to four grand, he'd let them go. I said, yeah, I don't think so. Um, so I got lucky enough, message from someone who turned their GT350 off their showroom floor um, into a race car, had taken the rear seats out, was meticulous about taking the seat belts out, all the bolts, so I got everything, got a massive deal on. I only paid um, 450 bucks, shipped, the seats are awesome, have everything ready to go, and uh, we're gonna get started on the install right now. So let's get rolling. All right, so there you go. There's the whole rear seats. It's got everything needed, belts, strikers, everything needed that, I, that I've that i seen. Uh, there's only one video out there, um, and it's uh, kind of where I got this inspiration to be able to do this. Um, so I have everything I need, so let's get started. Now, being this is a, a GT350 or GT350R, I did go out and buy a Torx kit because everything on this car seems to use Torx bits, T-O-R-X, um, including getting out the rear um, seat delete. So I will need those. So we're gonna use those on our process. Just wanted to show you guys so you knew what to look for. The fun part, we got our, where is it? Our T40, it's pretty dark in here. There's a bolt there. Where is the other one? There and there. We have to take those out in order to get this uh, rear seat delete out. So we'll get working on that right now. Let's climb up in here. Goodness, I got a lot here. Perfect. All right, those three bolts are out. Bingo, bongo. Let's go. <laughs> now let's figure out how to pull this bad boy out. pretty easy now this is the real question how do you get it out so let's squeeze it a little bit and just pull it out like so Woo! and there you go GT350 Rear seat delete, on the ground. Now for the fun part, getting all the panels out. All right, rear seat delete is out. You ever wonder what the previous owner might have threw back here, had in the trunk? Well, found some goodies. Looks like they got a little waterless hand sanitizer. What do we got here? Ooh, lavender lip balm. Well. Either their girl lost some stuff, or maybe it was a lady-owned car, but hey, giddy up. So here's the part that I don't like doing. The panel right there has to come out, the panel on the other side. In order to do that, you have to grab this sill and pull up, which I hate doing. Gosh, I hate doing plastic stuff. And then you have to pull on this and hope it doesn't break. So I'm going to get some interior tools let's see what we can do all right got some of my interior tools here figured it might be easier 
to be able to see what's going on because we're going on this journey together. I don't like doing interior pieces. I don't like doing plastic parts. They're always popped in all crazy. I know you got to pull on them pretty hard, so I don't want to break anything. So last thing I want to do is go out and buy more. Um, I want to get this done for y'all. So let's get, we got this part off. Um, little clip there. I think it just snaps out. But what I'd like to do is get this one out without having to take this one out. But I don't think that's going to be possible. So let's try. Whoa. Folks, they are on there. So just be careful, kind of feel around. You can start to feel where the clips are. So obviously there's one right here. Let's see if we can get our fingers in there these bad boys well I don't want to do that so we want to use our leverage <clears throat> Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. man I don't like doing that holy mother of pearl okay this piece is out this piece is coming along nicely looks like I'll have to get in there Ugh. go what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna slide this right in the trunk that's easy right maybe that's a bad idea because we're gonna have seats there soon <laughs> let's take it out all right guys we just did this side let's go to that side and we're gonna do it um, reverse. So remember, there's clips here. They all pop into these spots. So just be careful, run your hand along them and try to pop them out yourself instead of pulling and twisting it because that's gonna help. So I'm gonna do the other side. I'll be right back. All right, both panels are out. Let's get started with the fun. We also have to take that shelf panel out. So we'll get doing that. It's pretty easy from what I've seen. Ooh. Here we go. I feel like I should have my shoes off or something, you know? Oh, that's right. Bam. Duh. Let's use our tool. We have a pin right here. Stubborn. <laughs> Jeez. It's okay. I'll put you back. Don't lose that. And there's one on the other side. Oop. There it is. Bingo. Bongo. Now, we should be able to just, I think, just lift up, right? Hey. Not too bad at all. Now this one, we are gonna stick in the trunk because I know I'm just gonna need that before the seats go in. But now we have access to things. Perfect. All right, next up, we gotta take those out and that one out. Let's see it right there. That way we can put these in its place. We lift that up. I believe it's got a little notch in it. So I think we can just unscrew these like so. So anytime you see that little that little notch in there, it means it, it's a screw type of plug. So we'll put that right there. You just be able to push this back and then start spinning. It comes out pretty easy. Whoop. Put that one there. That's the way they're out of the way. We'll lift that up. And you can see the tape spots here and here. We're going to lift that tape up, and that's where these are going to go. 
All right, got my tools here. Boom. Let's get this, let's get these little, we'll move this out of the way a little bit. Just using a small screwdriver here to get the tape off. that tape somewhere else all right that tape off we'll put that right there I want to do the same to this side so this is pretty pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory right here I'll just put this one hey yo you get a sticker lots of mud on this part or seam glue, as they call it. Put that one right there. And now we are ready for these. That's what we're doing. These are gonna go right into here. Now the crazy thing is, I don't think you can see, but there's no threads in there. So we're gonna slowly put these in here. We're gonna use our, um, Little DeWalt here. Go pretty slow, make sure they're in straight, and we're gonna kind of cut our own threads. So, finishing up this side, but I wanted to show you, I think I found the best angle to get your crank on. Uh, it's right here. So you can get good levers, and just crank away. Now, if you have air tools, obviously way easier. DeWalt battery powered thing, not strong enough. Don't worry, I am. Plus it gives you more satisfaction doing it yourself. Boom. All right. Next up is the seatbelt install. Notice the orientation because we want it to fold out and that's how it works. So there is gonna be this little tape here. I can probably get it off real quick. Bam! Right there, that this is going to feed, or hell, that's gonna feed into that hole. We've got the same one on this side, but this one luckily has little knob here that way the seatbelt doesn't turn so we're gonna pull the tape off this one as well Whoop. and you can see here I already put the panel back looks good I want to get these seat belts on and then next we're going to tackle the big seat belts so let's get working weird part we got this bolt we've got a 9 16th I don't really think it's a 9 16th think it's a half but the half I'd have to hammer it on to get it on as you can see but a half inch wrench fits it perfectly yeah interesting so we'll try the 9 16 and see how it works remember orientation like that Now when the seat goes in, bingo bongo. And if this was to start backing out, this should hopefully stop it. But we got that seatbelt done. Whew, now we just gotta do the other side. We'll be all done with these seatbelts. It's hot in here. I'm stumped. I uh, need a minute. <laughs> trying to do the seatbelts right now and it's not cooperating. I can't get the seatbelts out. I heard it's crazy to get these things. They have to be in the perfect angles. So I'll show you what I'm working with. All right, so that is what I'm working with. We got these two bolts. The seatbelt mechanism is supposed to go in here and bolt up right there and then come down. And the bottom piece is supposed to bolt here on a stud. 
we, I am having a lot of trouble trying to figure out that because it is not cooperating. Yeah. Well, let's see what we can do. So there's these little hooks that should go into this spot here and through here. And we know this is supposed to go like this. But for the life of me, I can't get it to work. The seatbelt mechanism actually doesn't even fit in the hole. So I'm not sure exactly what to do. way to get to it all right folks as you can see it's in there a little bit i don't know what happened i was playing with the the seatbelt and it like unlocked real quick so i oh gosh so i was able to get this in here um i twisted twisted this sideways and shoved it in there and then i was able to twist it around and get this bolt on it as you can see here so i'm hoping i've heard stuff that if you get it started and you get it in the right angle, it will loosen up. So we're going to try that. And, and I'm just, I'm hoping and yes, come on, baby. Okay. The hard part is, is these aren't threaded. So I have to be very careful, make sure they're in straight because I'm going to thread them. And there's one right here that is going to be a nightmare. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do that one. I have a feeling this has to be removed, which that sucks. I don't want to remove that. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. <laughs> yes. All right. We're not dead in the water. Sometimes you just have to think a little bit and just think outside the box. And sometimes it just, it comes to you and, and you, you figure it out. So that's awesome. I'm excited. Now I think I have to take this panel off, which I'm not excited about. all clips this is the one I really need shoot damn you Mustang damn you well let's let's see what we can do here remember again gotta make sure we're in there straight because we're self-threading oh no all right Lost my wrench. Ha ha. Oh, this is gonna suck. All right, it's an extension party. Let's see what we can do without removing this, this side of this panel. I don't normally like doing a ton of extensions, but we wanna get this done. really need a knuckle, man. That was bad. All right, we're going to tighten those up. As soon as we're done tightening this up, we'll get down to that other side. 
All right, folks. Yeah, it's getting hot in here. It's getting crazy. So let's show you what we did here. All right, you got the belt here. Don't worry, once you get them in place, for some reason they unlock, it's wild. So this one took a little bit. This one was hard too. Now to make it easy, I would take this out. I just kind of moved it to the side um, and it kind of worked for me. I was able to get the wrench on here, but these are gonna be a major pain in the butt until they, cause you're threading them until all of a sudden you broke all the way through, boom, they're easy. So now we got that all tight up in that spot. Bam, one seat belt done. We are good to go. All right, next up, let's tackle that side. Boy, now that we know the best way to do this, let's go ahead and remove this panel. Always scares me, damn it. Oh, I hate the plastics. Hate them. That one bent a little bit. I don't like that. Okay. That bent a little bit, so we're going to do the method that I did before, which is not the right way but I was able to get it done. It's probably my knee in this whole shot. All right, whoa! <laughs> oh, it doesn't work, the car's fun. All right, I'm trying to do this so you guys can see. It's the best way to do this. Now the real secret is figuring out what I did to get this darn seatbelt to unlock the first time because I really have no idea. Okay, so I did a little of this. I was like, oh yeah, look at that. We'll just put this here and voila. Nope, that didn't work. So I'm thinking I should probably unlock this before I start filming. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got progress here. Oh, yo! Ha <laughs> ha, Eureka! Oh, no. No, oh, come on. No, 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 no. Don't do that to me. All right, all right. Show you what I did last time. What we want to do is have it upside down. So, let's do this. We're going to turn this sideways like this. Or maybe it's like this. Now that you guys are watching, it won't fit. That's what it is. All right. Well, maybe we'll do this instead. Okay, get that thing situated. Nope, that's not going to work for me either. Remember, this part sucks. Bad. Rika. All right, come on. Play nice, play nice. All right, all right, I think we got the start of something beautiful here. That's what I do. I don't know if you can see that. Get those on those hooks. Uh oh. That way it doesn't go anywhere. Should, in theory, be able to pull our seatbelt, but that doesn't seem to be the case. We're screwed. <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> it gets me every time. So what we're doing is we're putting that there so this keeps this there look at that oh gives us the opportunity to install this which is the real the real pain why because you have to start all of your own threads Trying hard to show you guys. All right, let's get cranking. <laughs> Gotta have a little fun while you're working. Hey, don't worry, it's unlocked. Whew. By the way, this is a half inch. There we go. Seatbelt's on there. I'm very proud of myself right now. I was getting a little discouraged earlier trying to put these on, but like I always say, sometimes step back, give it a minute, play around a minute, boom, you'll get it. Just gotta stay with it. Can't tell you how many times I've told friends that, man, I can't get this figured out. I don't know what to do. You know, step back, have a beer, take a nap, do whatever. I'm telling you, out of nowhere, it just comes to you. I was once doing my uh, suspension on a G35, could not figure out how to get something off for the life of me. It was midnight, I quit, went to sleep. I woke up at five in the morning, went, I got it. Came outside, nailed it. All right, so now, take this sticker off I will put you there all right so again this this again see how it's nice and straight boom fold it put it on the inside of that now remember, we're making another stud for this one. Or not a stud, duh. Uh, we're making our own threads. So make sure it's on there straight. I don't have a tool that's strong enough besides my huge arms. All right. Next, we take this sticker off. Oh yeah, put that here. I use these studs that I so delicately, like an idiot, ripped the bag. So I'll try to find you guys that part number again. I don't know if you can put it together. Anyhow, they're these, these studs. So again, we're going to be starting our own until we get there. And it's on the ratchet, it's a quarter, but it's really a torque head. So we're gonna give this a whirl. I don't know if you can see this, but we wanna to go to this right here. That's our stopper. It'll actually stop running out of threads and it won't go anymore. So that's our, that's our goal. All right, it's in, we're good. And then these are the nuts to order that go on top. Boom. All right, up next is this. That goes situated right. Oh, missed the hole. Hey <laughs> Hard to film into this. This bolt goes right here. 
I'm using a 15 millimeter on this bad boy. As you can see here, a 15. All right, there we go. We'll tighten that up. We'll move on to the next step. All right, guys, what's up? We got everything in there. Um, what's next is the panels. So we're gonna put the top panel on, the side panels back and forth, back on. Uh, make sure the seat belt webbing is all perfectly in there. Uh, you don't wanna get it uh, messed up, but uh, you wanna put all those in carefully. You don't wanna break anything. Make sure the tabs line up and uh, you should be good to go. And uh, as soon as I'm done with that, we'll get everything together. We'll start putting the seats on. We'll get ready for the next step. All right, this panel is in. And something a lot of people won't show you. I know it's ugly. I'm pretty upset with myself, but razor blades don't cut it. I actually had to use tin snips. Because this is nice just to get to this, but it doesn't leave any space for your latches here. So I actually had to take tin snip. This is like the hardest fiber wood crap material I've ever... I mean, a razor blade wouldn't go through it. Brand new, and I had to take tin snips. It's ugly, golly, it's bothering me, but luckily it gets covered up by the seats. Oh, it's so ugly, but you know what? Maybe I'll order another panel, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll dremel a nice hole through it and make it look better, but that's what you gotta do. Before we put the panels back in, one thing you're gonna notice, we're not gonna need this, right? So, it's got little clips right there that you just press it in. It's pretty hard with one hand, but you get the idea. And then there's two right here. Whoa, little booger. Hey, it came right out. And that's where our ones that are already there with the seatbelt will go. With the panel, this is what I'm talking about. You want it inside your seatbelt, and this seat belt needs to go inside that seat belt. So you can then clip this right here to that. This is a pain in the ass and a lot harder than it looks, but take your time, you'll get it. Panels are in. Oh boy, we're getting close. Remember to, when you have these seams here, put your finger in them, just go all the way down, just to make sure everything is all nice and tidy. Let's get those seats in. All right, folks. Remember those studs we put in there? I'm gonna line this up. They're gonna go right on this. So the end of the seat backs. Let's get the other one in here. I got it right here. Boom. All right. I don't know if you can see it. We're gonna take the the bolt off we are going to put this spot right here on there and put the other notch Ooh, buddy we're getting close right here okay now remember they're not going to sit flush or sit good until you get this on and get them flat. So I'm not sure if you can see, I know I sit like a frog, but obviously there's not much room in here. So get our wrench out here, start wrenching away. Uh, it's not that this is hard at all, it really isn't. I mean, no, it's not hard. It's just really tedious. I think it's one of the jobs that's not very fun, but it's very rewarding because when you're done, you got seats in your R, which is even rarer. All right. There's, there's a spring there and that's what you're hearing. And that's why it's important to get this thing flush. <laughs> it's all coming together, folks. All right, now let's get started on this one. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. Let's get that seat. 
We're going to put it through that little spot here. We are going to center that on the stud. And hopefully I didn't lose the bowl. Oh, there it is. There we go. Wrench that down. Oh, that's two. Let's go. Just want to show you guys what I did here. As you can see there, I think you can see it. Can you see it? See the bolt? Oop. Goes right on there. It's my foot again. All right, see that right there? That's what I tightened. And it just goes right on there. So everything looks good. It's getting dark. So also, real quick, these foam blocks, you gotta remove them. You go to put the seat down and the seat won't go all the way down. So remove those. Bottoms here, carefully place them into our GT350R. You know, because they're not supposed to be there. <laughs> and you have to thread in the seat belt. That's probably going to be the weird part, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's not very easy getting the seat belts in here. go okay now this other one is gonna be really difficult <laughs> ah! yeah so you almost need to get both of them in your hand like so uh, nagel them both at the same time I don't have any tips or tricks or hints at this because this is a bear. Holy moly. All right, I think if you get them in the groove, right? We got them in the groove. Aha, watch this jazz here. I'm pretty smart when I want to be. Ha! Ah, tip, trick, get your seatbelt out. Try to click it in there. Bam! Man, I get smarter and smarter all the time. I've seen a lot more to me today than you'd like. All right. Let's get those bad boys in here should hear a, a click. Okay, there's a little tab right here. That doesn't want to lock for me. Hmm. That is the last final step. All right, that side's in. So just feel with your hands, push back. Maybe if I sit on it. Oh. Yeah, those are rear seats in my GT350R. Here we go. All right, we got rear seats in our GT350R. Wasn't bad, wasn't hard, was kind of fun. I know I said it wasn't earlier. It was kind of fun. Anytime you're working on a car, it's fun. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. This has been uh, something I want to do. I can't wait to get my son in here, take him for a ride. 
Oh man, it's gonna be awesome. There you go, folks. Boom. That is a set of seats installed in my GT 350R. Pretty awesome. Proud of myself for doing it. Can't wait to get my son in there. Easy peasy, you can do it too. Hey everybody, well that's it for today's video. Look at that, that's pretty exciting. We did it together. <laughs> um, but uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, hope it was helpful. If you got any comments or tips or tricks when you did it, let me know, I'd be happy to hear or any suggestions. If you need help with what, uh, what you do in it, let me know. Um, please hit the subscribe button, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for watching Brock Go Fast and we'll see you next time.